Hello, and today I'm going to take you through how you set up an African cyclic tank. I'm going to show you right up there from what this tank used to look like to what it is now. I'm going to show you how I added fish in it the same day. As you can see, the tank's perfectly clear now. If the temperature's right, the green light's on the heater. So everything was ready to go for the fish to go into the tank. So sit back and watch every single stage I went through to get the fish into this tank. So hope you enjoy. Okay, this stage I'm applying the back. You see the equipment I was using, the poster fix, the dual poster fix, a card, a sponge to apply the poster fix. I just used a bit of filter sponge, a knife, and obviously the poster background. Um, I start by spreading out the glue, the poster fix. I didn't apply too much because you don't really need too much. And then applied the poster. It was meant to be a really easy process. It, I'm not really happy how they advertise the product because it's meant to be completely bubble free. It was taking us absolutely ages if you see we are having real trouble getting the bubbles out. We didn't completely get the bubbles out, but overall I'm happy with the effect it's created. Some people like to paint their back of their tanks. I'm not really keen on this because it's a more permanent feature if you paint the back and harder to remove without messing up your silicon around the edges of your tank. So we chose the poster back and the first time I've actually used this um, dual poster fix, I would use it again, but I would say just be prepared. It takes a lot of work to get it on. We also did use sellotape to fix the edges because the, no matter what we were doing as well, the edges were lifting up. So it took us about an hour, an hour and a half to do this process and I'm overall I'm happy with it. This is hardscape in the aquarium. I got the rocks very good. I didn't even have to go away from the house. The landlord had loads of rocks left over from when the, he was building the property, stacked it in the back of the garden. So I got them from there, so it didn't cost me a penny. Suitable for the aquarium. I start by adding perspex to the bottom of the tank. I do perspex at the bottom of the tank. This is so the rocks don't, if I dropped them in there a little bit, it wouldn't crack the glass and it also doesn't scratch your glass. I know the glass, you can't see it when you're using a tank, but you never know what you want in the future. It may you want a bare bottom tank or something and then it will be scratched and ruined. I put the rocks before the substrate, the sand, because cichlids especially they like to dig so rocks can become unstable. I don't secure the rocks in any means. You see me throughout this video, I know it's very fast, but you see me 
wobbling the rocks I make sure they're sturdy if they're not sturdy I put little rocks underneath them to stabilize it from being wobbly I do like the holy rock on the other tank I want to tank completely different and also with that holy rock on the other tank it's an absolute nightmare to catch fish when you want to catch fish you just can't catch them they're in and out of them holes so many holes you're forever chasing these fish around so I've done these rocks I think it looks really good completely different type of feel to the tank and they've not got too many hiding spaces but I think they'll enjoy this kind of scape and I certainly do enjoy this scape I'm putting a root in there the screws weren't big enough so I'm going to be putting the root in there afterwards I'll show you that later okay this stage is adding the sand to substrate it's 25 kilos of white sand and 10 kilos of black sand I didn't want it too dark the sand and I didn't want it just white I wanted it not in between either so it's two parts white sand to one part black sand I washed the sand in a pillowcase the white sand it was just coming out clear all the time I was washing it so to save time I didn't carry on washing the white sand the black sand however did take some washing the pillowcase wasn't really working for me rinsing it through the pillowcase so I ended up placing it in the bucket and we were swishing the sand around in the bucket and removing the water, excess water to it became as clear as we could get it I was then adding it around, all around the tank you see it's not very mixed up while I'm doing this I'm not really too fast, I do mix it with my hand as you see every now and again to try and mix it up but with the water going in the tank, the wave makers in the tank, the fish especially cichlids like to dig through the sand and clean in the substrate it's not a big deal if the sand's completely mixed at this stage because eventually the sand will become completely mixed and I'm hoping that I've got the quantities right it's looking right at the moment so that's that process of adding the substrate We're adding the water now, I am still Bucket Brigade, I must admit. I will be getting a python very soon because the amount of tanks we're getting, the bucket is becoming a bit of a, a nightmare. I won't be using the python for siphoning the water out into the sink, I think that's completely a waste of water because I try and water the plants indoors and outdoors with the water as much as possible because the poop in the water is good for all the plants they seem to love it it's also not new and got loads of chlorine when you are watering the plants with normal tap water but we're not talking about plants we're really talking about the aquarium so i added half the water straight from the tap i primed the tank for double the quantity so it's 300 litres tank i primed it for 600 litres because i am adding fish the same day after setting this tank up I say I'm adding fish the same day after setting this up because the filter is off of my old tank I got a new filter been going on the other tank for about 3-4 weeks so it was the other tank was running three filters I've taken the biggest filter off the other tank and put it onto this so it is a matured filter it's been on the tank over a year and a half so I didn't want that filter to crash 
uh, the substrate and the rocks admittedly these are not got anything beneficial so I used half tap water half the water from my other tank because I needed to do a water change on it so I took half the water out my other tank and added it as well and then was just letting it heat up before I can get the fish in there we're coming to a stage where it's getting close to adding fish this is adding all the electrical equipment I start by adding the Floorball E300 digital heater I find this a very good heater I've got it in the other tank it's digital display so you can see the temperature easy especially with the colours it's red for too hot green for just right or blue for too cold so that's the heater I recommend it to anyone then I move on to the, the wave maker it's a hydro 4 400 wave maker I actually took this out of my other tank because it wasn't getting to the length of the tank, the other tank's longer, so it wasn't getting to the end of the tank, so I put a more powerful wave maker in the other tank and took this wave maker out of that tank. And then it's adding the, the filtration. It's an external JBL Crystal Profi E1901 external filter it comes with four trays to add your mechanical and biological I've done two trays of uh, mechanical filtration that's cool sponge right at the bottom a medium sponge on the second tray half of the second tray is medium sponge and then it's like a filter floss on top of the medium sponge I would say as well I followed the Pongu's way of pimping this filter on this one and I put some of the ring filtration pellets or uh, tubes actually underneath the trays right at the bottom of the filter and then we go on to the two trays of mechanical which are at the top they're just scented glass biological milt uh, biological media so, so that's just the filters just biological and mechanical I did make a bit of mistake I really regretted it and it's too late because the water's in the tank I was the filtration tubes at the back I was having real trouble tightening up I didn't put enough space from the wall to the tank if I can move it when I've emptied a lot of the water out and I do my water change I'm going to try and move the tank out a little bit so I can get to the tubes easier when the tubes need cleaning another thing was because I was having trouble tightening the tubes a few hours later after the tank was running I had to redo all the tubes up because I noticed it dripping so when you do do this initial setup with your external filter do keep on checking for leaks after a few hours because they can happen so that's pretty much ready to add fish I'm gonna let the water heat up a little bit so it's quite close to the other tank and then just add the light add the root and then we'll be adding fish into this tank and that tank is ready to go so carry on watching So this is just a root, I screwed three screws, like rust proof screws into the back, I then glued the suckers on so that's just a root, it's really simple to do so I could hang it from the top of the tank and this is the Beamworks LED light, 10,000 lumens, it's got a few blue lights so it's got a night effect light on it as well as the day or you can have both. So I'm going to now just show you them in the tank with the fish.
Okay, so that's it, the fish are in there. I've added a uh, male blue neon. I've added the female blue neon. There's a male and a female neon spot in there. There's three yellow lab females, because I was tired of them always getting fry, so I've kind of taken them away from the male for the time being. And I've also got a strawberry albino, male and a female in there. So there's nine fish in there at the moment. I will be adding some more fish, but I'm going to give it a couple of weeks before the fish do actually, uh, before I do actually add any new fish in there. It's, the filter is old, it's over a year and a half old, as I said, but the substrate and the rocks and everything aren't so old. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.